everyone so today i'm going to show you how to do that four picture transition so here i have my four clips i'm just going to merge them together and then i'm going to import my pictures again i also imported this grid thing this will help us place in our pictures and of course i imported the line overlay you can find a link to download these in the description so first i'm just going to go to multi-layer for the first layer i'm going to put the grid and then I'm just going to place in my picture. So I'll get my first picture and I'm just going to size it down and move it to the first box like this. Same thing for the second picture. I'm just gonna copy keyframes from layer one or from layer two actually and just drag it to the side like this. Once you've got all your pictures in place, just remove the first layer and make sure to set your color background as green or just whatever color doesn't blend in with the pictures that you're using. For layer 6, I'm just going to add the line overlay and then go to color and press blend background. Now I'm going to add a master. Now I'm going to size it up and drag it to the first picture like this. So for this transition, we want to split up the like the clip into threes. So what I like to do is I kind of like estimate where would be like the first third and I just mark down the opacity and then, you know, just kind of estimate like where the second keyframe should go. And I think about like, just try to split it up as evenly as possible like I did. So my keyframes are on 0 0.19 and what is this? 1.10. Now I'm just going to go to this first keyframe and I'm going to drag it to the bottom right picture and then on the second keyframe I'm going to drag it upwards like this and then at the very end I'm just going to drag it to the bottom left picture here. For this transition you want your paths to be straight so go to the first keyframe and click this and make sure it says straight and it's checked off and then same thing here make sure it's checked off. And at the very last, make sure it's checked off as well. Now I'm just going to add my graph. You can make your own graph like this or just screenshot the preset. I'm going to add that same graph for each keyframe. If you want, you can just leave it like this. But what I like to do is I like to kind of tilt it at different angles. So I'm gonna go to this first keyframe at the very beginning and I'm just going to use these up and down arrows and these left and right arrows just to tilt it at a random angle. I usually like to make it so it's tilting upwards and it's tilting to the right like this. So my settings are it's going three upwards and three to the right. And then on the second keyframe, I like to turn it to the right. And then I'm going to mark down the up and down arrows. On this keyframe, I'm going to make it go three down and mark down the left and right arrows. And then at the very end, I'm just gonna turn it three to the right again and make it tilt upwards by three. Now I'm gonna go back to this keyframe and I'm going to add a graph for the up and down arrows. I'm just using the same graph as I did with the path and same thing for the left and right arrows. On the next keyframe, we actually didn't edit the left and right arrows. As you can see from here, it's three to this direction and three on that same direction so a graph isn't necessary at that point but i am going to add a graph for the up and down arrow since we did change that one so once again just add the same graph and then for the last one we edited both the up and down arrows and the left and right arrows so i will be adding a graph for both of them all together it looks like this now i'm just going to create and done. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, and follow my Instagram at Virgo Yunes. Link is in the description. Thank you for watching and goodbye.